brain is the most complex object in the universe. Decades of research, billions of pounds of funding, yet we've barely even begun to understand it. We can see general brain activity, but the truth is we don't know how or why it's happening. We're just starting to learn how decisions are made and how emotion is regulated. Imagine the brain as a library and the neurons as books. We don't know what the books say or even what language they're written in. A hundred years ago, we recorded the electrical pulse of one neuron. We've come a long way since then, but not far enough. Because there are 70 billion neurons in each of us, to even begin to understand the complexities of the brain, we need to measure countless single neurons all over the brain at the same time. Until recently, no one ever thought that would be possible. Neuropixel probes will revolutionize the way we study the brain. They're tiny, super sensitive electrodes that can record the pulse of multiple single neurons from multiple brain regions, and on the same probe process and digitize those signals. This has never been done before. They were created by a consortium of some of the biggest nonprofit players in neuroscience, and for the first time, a world-class commercial nano foundry, IMEC, the support of these collaborators means that NeuroPixel probes can be sold at cost price. This is technology for everyone, and Matteo Carandini is leading the team that is putting this incredible technology to use. Each NeuroPixel probe is thinner than a human hair and powerful enough to record 1,000 neurons. It's a bit like making science fiction reality. With dozens of probes recording in real time, we can start connecting dots mapping the complex networks that guide everything our brain does. The secrets of the brain may finally be within grasp. But decoding the terabytes of raw data output from each probe is an enormous task. Making sure we have the tools and expertise to interpret it will be my next focus. Next year, the first generation of NeuroPixel probes will be released to scientists worldwide. Trained by a team and armed with just a laptop, they can get started. The work that we've done may change the way we understand everything about the brain, from decision-making to eyesight to psychiatric disorders. At the International Brain Laboratory, we are coordinating this global effort. Labs across the world will each be using neuropixel probes to study a different area of the brain as a mouse performs a standardized task, foraging for food. Using techniques that were refined in Matteo's lab, we can record and share our data in real time. This global collaboration heralds a new democratic era in neuroscience because collectively, finally, we'll be able to look at exactly what's happening throughout an entire brain. Soon, this ability will start to address long-standing unanswered questions in medicine about how disorders such as depression or diseases like Alzheimer's alter our neural circuits, or even tell us how we could one day cure these diseases completely.